Hey, Michelle here from the soultranslator.com and from the Empowered Empath. And today is Translation Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking briefly about the issues of inspiration and discernment and how empaths can be able to work with themselves to know when to say yes and when to say no. This week uh, we are looking at a week that's bringing in a lot of inspiration energy. Uh, so this is an energy casting that I'm offering also in these Translation Tuesdays uh, to help you uh, tap into what is like one of the strongest collect collective flows um, and forces, and I say forces in the sense of like, not like forceful, but forces of energy and power that is moving through. Um, and uh, this is, you know, channeled information here that I'm sharing with you so that you can tap in to yourself and use these energies uh, for empowerment and for the, the best outcome possible uh, using your awareness uh, with the energy so that you can really focus on what matters for you. So this week, as I was saying, is a lot about inspiration. There's uh, a intensification of ideas of divine downloads, as they say, uh, there is a lot of um, possibility that is brewing all around us. So you may find yourself feeling like you're getting lots of new ideas or you're having those insights where you're like, oh, that would be awesome if I did that or, oh, wow, you know, like you, you'll feel a lot of this stuff coming in or you'll feel it in your body or maybe a week where you're having a lot of, you know, as those truth bumps, you know, the goosebumps where you're like, whoa, I'm getting really inspired by new thoughts, new ideas, new possibilities. So that is something that is totally fantastic and that is something to celebrate. It also is something to work with awareness and discernment because particularly if you are very creative in your nature, you may find yourself getting a little overwhelmed with ideas and this, uh, that ends up kind of getting in the way of the things that we can actually funnel our energy into. There is a big thing that we are all dealing with in this 2017 modern times, uh, which are going to get more and more modern because that's just evolution happening. Um, <laughs> and there's there's the sense of uh, like, t you know, the TMI and the stimulation overload. I can't tell you how many conversations I have been having with clients and friends lately ar uh, around the absolute saturation point that so many people are feeling on social media and all the advertisements and I and I, I agree I feel it myself you know it's like that wait a second there's so many beautiful people doing incredible work and then there's also a lot of noise out there and um, it's hard sometimes to feel like you may have something incredible that you want to share with others that you want to do in your services um, in whatever you're doing in your business or as a, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, uh, that is, you know, you're kind of working against this stream of sound. Um, and most people are saturated um, with the options. So more than ever, there's this need for us to discern and to take in the options and then move towards the things that are really feeling aligned. And that does take a certain amount of awareness. And it also takes a certain amount of saying no. Many of us are in that place where we kind of feel like, la, 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 la. you know, it's just a lot going on. I also I realize the irony of when I'm doing a video on social media <laughs> about <laughs> too much information and I'm giving you more information. However, I'm really hoping that this can be supportive of you in discerning uh, what really is aligned with you and what you can have a good, fat, healthy, no thank you to. <laughs> so particularly for empaths, this discernment piece is extremely important. Why? Because we are picking up other people's thoughts, moods, emotions, feelings, um, even ideas. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like we are, it's certain amount of uh, contagiousness can happen energetically and emotionally for empaths. And this can also be the contagiousness of other people's excitement or other people's ideas. 
And that's why sometimes we need to, often we need to say, does this really align with me and who I am? Does this feel right in my body? Does this feel right in my emotions and energy? Or am I you know, kind of feeling the other person's excitement and, and, and getting all riled up at that and then going like, yeah, this is going to be great, super. And then we make a decision to do something or we give a lot of money to something or we hire somebody to help us. And then we realize like, oh my God, no, I was just really tuning into their excitement and their emotions. And now I'm like not really sure that this decision or this investment was the right use of my time or money or energy. So here are three things that you can do in a time where you may have a lot of inspiration or be feeling a lot of excitement or inspired by something and you want to make sure that it's really alive and aligned for you. The first one is simply to slow down and take a moment and take a breather before you respond to anything. You, you got to check. Is this mine? Is this mine to do? Or is this someone else's? If you feel that it's truly a inspiration that's coming from within, if it brings up a really fun energy or it brings up a excitement that feels uh, joyful, that feels grounded, that feels good, you know, then it's something that will probably be something you can explore a little bit more. But if you feel it more as kind of like this exterior little buzz that's going on, you got to see whether it's you or somebody else that you're picking up on the excitement level. Uh, it's really easy for empaths to uh, take on the other people's excitement and call it your own. And then when those people are not around you anymore, you're kind of questioning like, oh, wait a second, I agree to this, but was it really something that I want to do or was I just caught up in the moment? We can all get caught up in the moment, but empaths, because we're so sensitive to other people's moods and energies and feelings, you know, we have to work more on this discernment. So, so just check yourself. Take a moment, slow down, get centered, and check yourself. Um, the second thing is to tune into whatever your primary channel is, and that may be your visual, you may be um, auditory, you may hear things, you may um, sense things in your body as a kinesthetic. However, you usually tend to register information or inspiration that's a great place for you to go in and just spend a minute or two doing a visualization on different ideas or options and see which one has the most power to it. See which one really lights up. You know, do you hear a bigger yes to uh, an idea or do you hear it? Eh you know, kind of energetically, you know, it's kind of like, well, that's probably not the place to really put your energy into. So the third thing is to get an objective opinion. I know that sounds a little funny coming from me because I'm usually saying, hey, you know, we got to really be, you know, self-aware, energy aware, empath aware, empowered empath, and, you know, be your own guru. However, if you have somebody that you are working with either professionally or is just a really trusted friend who can give you some objectivity around these things that inspire you and help you discern what has more energy and what has less energy, uh, that is a wonderful barometer that you can sometimes put it outside of you and say, hey, you know, call somebody up. I did it today with a friend of mine and said, I need about an hour of your time. I have, you know, this, this, and this, and this, and I really need you to help me sort out what feels the most alive for me and where I can really discern and put my energy into. And, and making it not about the head thing, you know, like, well, let's look at all the pros and cons and let's work this out intellectually. You know, it's like, how does this feel? How is your body? How is your energy? How are you responding to the possibility of this? You know, is this really inspiring? Are you really inspired by this? Are you thinking you should be inspired? So those are three really important things that we can do when we feel lots of inspiration and we need to discern what feels really right for us. So again, they are slow down and get centered. Take a few minutes to just, you know, and then decide and then make it something that is an empowered aware choice versus just reacting or jumping on the next great thing because you think it's, you know, going to be super. 
but actually it might be super for somebody else, but not for you. Um, and this is also particularly important for creatives because, you know, we can be feeling uh, the creative inspiration coming through at uh, the, all the different channels of life all the time. And if we were to put our energy out into everything, we would not have much left. So it, discernment is a really important skill. Number two is running it through whatever your primary channel is and feeling if it's right or wrong or, you know, time for you to do it or not time for you to do it. Something to put your energy in or not something to put your energy in. And then the third is, is get somebody who can just give you an objective like, hey, yeah, it looks like you really feel this is like lighting you up like, you know, a Christmas tree. I will see you next week and take super care.